Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh The Honorable Dr. Anissa Astrid STMPD As a lecturer of seminar on research professional subject Let me introduce myself first My name is Adina Mutiara Maharani I'm from PBR1 2018 Okay, in this video I'm going to explain briefly about my research proposal The title of my research is about students' interest in pencaksilat extracurricular activities in junior high school number 26, Palembang. There are two research problems in my proposal. The first is how much interest are students in pencaksilat extracurricular activities at junior high school number 26, Palembang. And what factors make students choose pencaksilat extracurricular activities? And then, same as the research problems, there are two main objectives of my research proposal. The first is to find out how much interest students of junior high school number 26 Palembang are in extracurricular activities of pencaksilat at school, and then. To find out the perceived factors that influence students choosing extracurricular pencaksilat. And next, uh, we move to research methodology. Uh, the first part is research design. This study uses a qualitative with case study method. Uh, Creswell in 2012 stated that a case study is a problem to be studied. which will reveal a deep understanding of case or bonded system, which involves the understanding of events, activities, processes, or one or more individuals. The purpose of this research is to find out why students choose pencaksilat for their extracurricular activities at school, and to understand the factors that lead students to choose pencaksilat for their extracurricular activities. Um, the students in junior high school number 26 Palembang are selected as the sample. This case involves a case study with limited participants. In addition, the study was observed when students were not in class but were doing extracurricular activities. And then uh, the second part is research setting and participants. Uh, this research took place at junior high school number 26, Palembang, that located at Haji Sanusi Street, Sukabangun, uh, Palembang City. I took students in junior high school number 26, Palembang, who take pencaksilat as an extracurricular as a population of this research. Purposeful sampling method was used to determine the sample. The total number of the subject wa uh, was five students. The students in junior high school number 26 Palembang were chosen as the sample in regard to know the reason why they choose pencaksilat as their extracurricular at school. Um, next, the third part is the technique for collecting data. To obtain the data in this research, the researcher used some techniques such as observation, and interview. Um, the first is observation. In this study, observations were made among students of junior high school number 26 Palembang who chose pencaksilat as their extracurricular in order to view the actual situation and collect the pencaksilat data in practice. According to Bess and Khan, observation is usually a detailed notation of behaviors events and the content of events and behaviors. Alwasila um, also believed that the method of collecting observation data must ensure that they are effective and reliable. Um, the observation was conducted for one meeting. A meeting was observed to view the processes of oral practice and the data of pencaksilat was collected collecting collected during the demonstration and then the second is interview interview are used to support uh, the observations made uh, this is um, consistent with Jensen and Christensen's point of view 
they said that qualitative interviews were qual qualitative interviews were conducted to obtain more in-depth information. Um, Nunan in 1989 also stated that structure interviews are carefully planned around a set of predetermined questions and can be combined with other data collection techniques such as uh, formal questionnaires. Uh, there were two sections of interview that use collecting the data. First, the interview for the instructor is ready-made questions that were taken from. There was a structured interview consisting of five, uh, of five questions to elicit students' difficulties during Pencaksilat practice. Uh, the interview questions were asked to the instructor to describe a successful doing pencaksilat from their point of view and to mention what the most important cr criteria used to improving their skills. Um, the instructor also was asked about why the students choose pencaksilat as their extracurricular. Um, in the in the other side, um, the instructor was asked about what is the difficulties in practice pencaksilat. The last, uh, the instructors were asked about their recommendation for improving their skills in pencaksilat. Second, uh, the interview for the students contained ready-made questions that developed from the two open-ended questionnaires. Uh, the students were asked about their experiences of oral presentation, how students feel in delivering oral presentations, why they encountered those things, and also their perception about pencet silat. Uh, the last, the students were asked about successful practice pencet silat. And next, the fourth part in my research methodology is technique for analyzing that data. Uh, first is for observation. Um, during the observation process, collect data through the camera, record the performance of the students, and observe the practice penjaksilat process of each meeting. In short, to observe uh, the data, I use the tally sheet to calculate the student's project statement for practicing pencaksilat. The data in the counting table is presented in the form of the table and explained according to the required analysis. In addition, the data in the field notes is in the form of a diary I wrote in my observation practice. And then, um, for interview, the interview was conducted in a semi-formal situation. The conditions are set as good as possible to make students feel comfortable. Um, in this study, uh, the participants' verbal consent was recorded orally and recorded for uh, two until three minutes through audio recording. Um, the interview was conducted in Indonesian. The first language uh, is used uh, to make participants understand the question and be able to provide a lot of information to the interviewer. And the last part is establishment of trustworthiness. Uh, the validity is not only depends on the data collection and analysis, but also the conclusion is stated and communicated. Um, according to Lincoln and Guba, um, there are two kinds of trustworthiness. The first is long-term or persistent observation. In this study, long-term or persistent observation was conducted to pursue the validity data. Uh, it is lined with uh, Rudy in 2001. Um, Rudy suggests that by persi persistently observing of the same phenomenon over a period of time, the researcher can ensure the research finding to increase the validity. Accordingly, I was present continuously in the pencaksilat during observation 
to identify why students choose pencaksilat as their extracurricular and the second is triangulation triangulation was used in this research um, as Bailey and all right uh, in 1991 uh, they state that methodological triangulation refers to using different methods to collect the data uh, the triangulation involved the use of multiple method or multiple data source to verify the data interpretation classroom observation was conducted to see out the students difficulties and also to see students performance during delivering oral presentations the last um, interview to the instructor and also the students were used to cross-check the previous data so um, i think this is all for my explanation about my research proposal i'm um, sorry for all my mistakes and let's say wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh